Welcome back. We're reading chapter 48 on the tail of a rat. Have you ever had to hold the tail of a, of a rat? At best, it is an unpleasant sensation, scaly and cold, similar to holding a small, narrow snake. At worst, when you are dependent upon a rat for your survival, and when a part of you is certain you are being led nowhere except to your death, it is a hideous sensation, indeed, to have nothing but a rat's tail to cling to. Nonetheless, Despero held on to Botticelli Remorso, and the rat led him deeper and deeper into the dungeon. Despero's eyes had, by this point, adjusted quite well to the darkness, though it would have been better if they had not, for the things he saw made him shiver and shake. What did he see? He saw that the floor of the dungeon was littered with tufts of fur, knots of red thread, and the skeletons of mice. Everywhere there were tiny white bones glowing in the darkness, and he saw in the dungeon tunnels through which Botticelli led him the bones of human beings too grinning skulls and delicate finger bones, rising up out of the darkness and pointing toward some truth best left unspoken. Despero closed his eyes, but it didn't help. He saw as if his eyes were still open. The bones, the tufts of hair, the knots of thread, the despair. Ha, ha, exactly. Botticelli laughed as he negotiated the twists and turns. Oh, yes, exactly. If what was in front of Despero was too horrible to contemplate, what followed behind him was, perhaps, even worse. Rats. A happy, hungry, vengeful parade of rats, their noses up in the air, sniffing, sniffing, here is Despero trailing along behind Botticelli Remorso as he swings his locket, grasping the rat, the rat's terrible tail. See the crowd of rats in the distance behind him. Mouse, sang out one rat joyfully. Oh, yes, mouse, agreed another, but something else, too. Soup, called out another rat. Your yeah, soup, the others agreed. Blood, sang a rat. Blood, they all agreed together. And then they sang, Here, mousy, 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 here, little mousy. Botticelli called out to the other rats. Mine, he said, this little treasure is all mine, gentlemen and ladies. Please, I beg you, do not infringe on my discovery. Mr. Remorso, said Despero. He turned and looked behind him and saw the rats, their red eyes and their smiling mouths. He closed his eyes again. He kept them closed. Mr. Remorso, he shouted. Yes, said Botticelli. Mr. Remorso, said Despero, and he was crying now. He couldn't help it. Please, the princess... Tears, shouted the rats. We smell tears, Mousy, we do. Please, shouted Despero. Little friend, said Botticelli, little Despero, tilling, I promised you, and I will keep that promise. The rat stopped. Look ahead of you, he said. What do you see? Despero opened his eyes. Light, he said. Exactly, said Botticelli. Light.